hello everyone in this video i will demonstrate how to conduct chi square test and uh, find out uh, odds ratio and relative risk and we're going to do that using two categorical variables of interest to us so chi square test is a non parametric test and it is used to find the significant association if exist between two categorical or nominal level variables so here we going to use the data set based on titanic all of us know what happened to titanic it sank on its maiden voyage and a lot of people on board died so this is the data set about the passengers traveling uh, on titanic so we have their names their age gender class fare and survival whether they survived or died and uh, class is the three levels of tickets they they offered like first class was the costliest one and then second class and third class is like economic class and gender is male and female age is in years so we have this data set here what we want to do is we want to find if there was any association between the survival and the gender so so both are categorical data a nominal label data and uh, we're gonna do that using chi square test so basically the question here is can we say that uh, females on board were less likely to die compared to the male or the otherwise so to find this association or whether this uh, uh, this association is significant or not we're gonna use the chi square test so uh, with this brief info about the data set, I'll go ahead and perform the chi square test and find out the odds ratio and relative risk. And we're gonna do that using descriptive statistics and cross tab. So I'll go to the cross tab here. Reset everything. So basically the the variable of interest is survival so whatever variable of interest or the response variable you're supposed to analyze goes to the column and i'm going to put the gender in the rows here go to the statistics here i'm going to find out the chi square test i'm going to explain the kramer's v but we're going to select that option and we have to select the risk this is going to give us the odds ratio and relative risk uh, for each category of survival so we're gonna do that here continue cells I want observed frequency and the expected frequency and I want the row percentages and that should be it so these are the three options I would like to select here I'm gonna explain that using the results so I'm gonna continue that and I want to have display the bar chart here so I'm gonna say that select that and say okay here so here is the output before i start interpreting the output i want to uh, see whether we have enough sample size or not so we have a sample size of 1309 which is very big and we don't have any missing data so that's that's a good indication and secondly uh, before we analyze the results we need to make sure that we are fulfilling the assumptions of pearson chi square test basically this test uh, assumes that you have a large data set and the expected uh, counts the expected counts um, uh, in almost 80 percent of the cells so here you have four cells so expected count in in um, um, almost 80 percent of the cells should be greater than five so 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 the briefly you have to keep in mind that the expected count should always be gr greater than five in at least 80 percent of the cells so here we just have four cells so but we are pretty good here because all the expected counts are uh, much bigger than five so here is 288 178 and then we have expected count for meals 521 and 322 so before i move on further uh, we are good with the sample size we are fulfilling the assumptions now we need to understand this uh, two by two table okay so here we have survival as whether the passenger died or survived and here we have gender male female and male and we have their observed count uh, as coming from the data set and then we calculated the expected count so expected count uh, is calculated i'm going to show you here how to calculate that so expected count here 288 how we are getting that so i'm going to do 466 which is the row total 
four, sixty-six uh, times uh, the column total, which is eight zero nine. So I'm going to say eight zero nine. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to divide this by the total sample size of 1309. So 1309. So that's going to give me 288. And likewise, you're going to do here is 466 times 500. And that should be divided by 1309. You'll get 178. And likewise, you have to find all other expected counts. So these expected counts are the frequencies that you are expecting if there is no association between the gender and the survival. So again, I'm going to repeat that. So these are the expected count which are expected if there is no uh, association or relationship between gender and survival. And what chi-square is doing is basically it's, it's kind of uh, measuring the difference between the observed count as well as the expected count and see if that difference um, in all the, uh, all the cells are significant or significantly different. So if so, then we can say that there is an association. So that's one thing I have to keep in mind. And uh, so moving on, I would like to tell you how we calculated the percent within gender. So this 27.3%, you're basically what you're doing is you're finding what person of the female died. So, so female is this row here. So I'm going to take 127 divided by 466 times 100. That's going to give me 27.3%. And likewise, uh, here, 72.7%, you're going to do 339 divided by 466 times 100. So that's going to give you this um, this uh, percent within gender for female. And likewise, you're going to do it person within uh, gender for male. So here, out of all the females, we can see that 27% died while 72, 73% survived. And 81% of the male died while only 20% of the male survived. Okay, so that's a nice interpretation. And we can, uh, before we jump on the chi-square test, you know, we should look at the bar chart. So this chart is telling me the same thing. Like, you know, if you look at this chart, uh, blue is survived, uh, green, I mean, green is survived and blue is died. So you can clearly see that more females survived compared to more female died. And this is uh, opposite in case of Meal. So it looks like there is an association uh, between the gender and the survival because it looks like less female died compared to male. But can we say that statistically? So for that, we have to look at the chi-square value. So chi-square uh, basically looks at, again, uh, the differences between the observed count and the expected count. And if that difference uh, is significant, we're going to say that there is an association. And chi-square value uh, is calculated as, you know, the observed count minus the expected count and then whole square divided by the expected count for every cell. So, for example, I'm going to do here. So for chi-square for, let's say this cell where the survival equals dead and gender equals female. So I'm gonna find out the, here, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take the observed count, which is, uh, okay. So I'm gonna open the parenthesis here, 127 minus the expected count right and i'm going to do this i'm going to raise to power this okay so i need to see that can i use this color symbol no okay so i'm going to do times okay so i'm going to do just times one 61 so it's gonna give me okay so i hate this uh, calculator here 
so I'm just gonna do twice times 161 so that's the square of uh, the difference between 127 and 288 and I'm gonna divide this by uh, 288 so that's a that's a chi square value for this cell likewise you're gonna find the chi square value for this cell chi square value for this cell and chi square value for this cell and if you sum all of them uh, you should get the chi square value of 365 okay so I'm gonna leave it there so chi square value uh, a, with one degree of freedom uh, again the degree of freedom is simply uh, number of rows minus one times number of columns minus one so you have two rows male and female and two columns died and survived so it's gonna be one okay and this is significant at 0, 0.000 level so we can say that there is a significant asso association between the gender and the survival but chi-square doesn't tell you the strength of the relationship so so for that uh, to measure the strength of the relationship we look at Kramer's V uh, so Kramer's V basically for a two by two table will range from minus one to plus one and the farther you are away from the zero the stronger is the relationship between the two variables so here it's 0.529 which is moderately strong relationship between the gender and the survival now this Kramer's V ranges from minus one to plus one for two by two table. But if the table is more than or uh, greater than two by two or larger than two by two, then you then this value will range from zero to one. And again, farther you are away from the zero, the stronger is the relationship between the variables. So that's something to keep in mind. So here we can see that the relationship is significant and also we can say that the the strength of the relationship is pretty good as well so we can say with confidence that yes there is an association significant association between uh, the gender and the survival and this is like again Kramer's view for a two by two table is very much like a correlation coefficient okay that ranges from minus one to plus one as well so that's something to keep in mind now more interesting thing is uh, the risk related risk table that gives the odds, odds ratio so uh, so odds ratio is another major of association between the two categorical variable okay so basically it's, it is it can only be used by a two by two table okay so if you have a two by three table then you cannot use odds ratio is not going to produce any results so it has to be two by two table um, that means you have two categorical nominal label variable and each uh, nominal variable has two labels within that's it and then for that we get the odds ratios and other stuff now what is the odds ratio odds, odds ratio is the ratio of two odds basically odds of female dying to the odds of male dying and that gives you the odd ratio of uh, gender uh, female over male and this value will always correspond to the first column so the first column here is died so this is the odds ratio of female to male when survival equals died that's the best way to put at it so what is this means what is this odds ratio odds ratio is uh, basically tells you how likely an event uh, in the numerator occurs compared to the one in the denominator so the numerator event is female and the denominator is male so the event is died so so we can say that um, how likely a female is uh, how likely a female uh, uh, is supposed to die compared to how likely a male is supposed to die um, in that uh, titanic uh, ship so basically here 0 0.088 it means that odds of female dying is 0 0.088 times the odds of male dying and obviously this ratio is less than one because if it is equals to one then the odds are odds of female dying equals odds of male dying and then there is no association but this is very small very smaller 
than one. So here we can see that the odds of female dying is uh, very less compared to male dying, which means that females are less likely to die in comparison with the males. Uh, that's the best way to put it, this odds ratio. And if you inverse this one, you'll get the odds ratio for gender for male to female. And that's gonna give us another interesting uh, results here. So I'm gonna say here, so I'm gonna say 0 0.088. I'm gonna find the inverse of that. That's 11.36, which means that the odds of male dying is 11.36 times the odds of female dying. So this ratio is much greater than one. Uh, which means that male are more likely to die compared to females. Um, uh, so that's a, that's the best way to put uh, this odds ratio into perspective. So that's the odds ratio, and the other one is the relative risk. So I'm gonna first tell you how you calculate the relative risk. This is the relative risk of survival equals died. So this is the relative risk of dying, um, and this is the relative risk of surviving. Um, so this is a relative risk when the people died. This is the relative risk when the people survived. And the relative risk is calculated like this uh, for the first column, died, is calculated simply. I'm gonna go up here a little bit up here. You take the uh, percentage of female who died and divide it by the percentage of male who died. So you're gonna take 27.3 divided by 80.9, you'll get the relative risk of uh, people who died, which is 0.337. It's a relative risk, it, which means that the it, it's basically a ratio of the percent of the people or the risk of female dying to the risk of male dying. And since this is uh, again less than one, we can say that the risk of female dying is a lot lesser than the risk of male dying. That's another way to measure the association between two categorical variables other than the odds ratio. And this uh, this relative risk when the survival equals survive, which simply means that the risk of female uh, surviving divided by the risk of male surviving, that gives me the relative risk of female surviving. And that is 3.8, which is much better, greater than one. So we can say that the relative risk of female surviving is very high compared to the male. And that's something very interesting to know. And uh, if you divide these two number, like relative risk of uh, uh, female dying divided by the relative risk of female surviving, uh, you get the odds ratio here. So here I'm gonna do that here. So I'm gonna divide uh, 0 0.337 divided by 3.809. That's 0 0.008, okay. So uh, this is all to it. You need to understand when you do the chi-square test, it can be only used for two categorical variable. Uh, yeah, chi-square test can can be produced if you have more than two labels in those two categorical variable. But the odds ratio, this will only be produced by um, by two categorical variable, each having two labels within. If you have more than two labels within any of the categorical variable, then this table will not be produced. And before you perform the chi-square test, always check out the sample size, the, the expected cell counts in each cell should be greater than five. That's the best way to put it. Although 80% of the cell should have more than five expected count. But you know, you can always briefly browse through the expected counts to make sure they are greater than five before you start interpreting the results. And it's always good to look at the bar chart. So I guess this, uh, I hope this video was very helpful understanding the basic concepts of uh, chi-square test and the odds ratio and the relative risk. And with this, I will uh, end my video here. Thank you very much for listening.